You're live, it says. It says you're live. What does that mean? Go live, it says. Sammy Brown, how are you, bud? Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, Sammy. You're good, eh, bud? The Lumberjack. Oh, uh, here we go. Make sure you go hitchhiking as soon as you pull in, friends. You may as well just start hitchhiking. Let's get on with the program. Up they go. It's like, click, up, click, up. Live on Wednesday. That's right, buddy. How's everybody doing? Buckaroo. <laughs> Colin. Victorious. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, Victor. Alan McCluskey's here as well. The crazy old buzzard from England. Greg, good to see you, pal. Melly from California. Excellent. Kind. Kind. 325. Hey, DIY. Great to see you, Dylan. Jeff. Chain around your neck. That's my new swag. Chicago. Hey, right on. Climbing Redwoods in Chicago. I'll be pulling into the airport on the 3rd. To your big airport there. How did it go, Tice? Did it go okay, buddy? <laughs> so, friends. Yeah, not bad, eh? Not bad. It's here for a reason. What's going on here? Maybe I can get myself on here. How do you do this? Oh, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, there's Bucking right there. He's live. Boom. Cool. Maybe I'll get the, the comments going here. So, friends, I don't have the, the, the fantabulous... Uh, um, cameras and all that, doodads, but I wanted to run through a little get the gullet stuff today. Hey, Jeff, how are you? You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking maybe now that I got this set up, that's not going to work because that light's going to get us. How's the Wi-Fi, guys? Hey, is the Wi-Fi all right? Yeah. Actually, what might work... Michael Bowman, the hillbilly. Hillbilly, yo. Hey, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. I want to try a different angle, friends. But I want to show people. I wanted to spend a couple minutes today. And my cameras are, again, they're not the greatest. I'm going to flick that Instagram thing out of the way. Um, there's been a few folks that have been, hey, Landfill, good to see you. Good man. <clears throat> so... Right on, Tice. Right on, buddy. How many people are planning on coming to the airport? Is there anybody? Uh, is there anybody coming to the airport on the third of December to kind of give myself an idea what I'm looking for? If I got to hire Cynthia to be a, a a bodyguard? Hey, Steve. Right on, Tice. Snowman. Uh, it's that great big one, uh, Hillbilly, in uh, in Chicago. The O'Hara, I think it is. O'Hara? I'm not familiar with it, but it's the great big one there. Hey, Anders, the Viking, how are you? Anthony, good to see you. Hey, friends. Um... 
This is completely uncomfortable here being bent over like this. I might change locations actually. But um, I don't know if you guys... Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, what happened with one of August Haneke's buddies here. You probably are familiar. Everybody's familiar with it now. I wasn't familiar with it until the other day. Um, that, yeah, well, okay. Dickard, Dickard, which is is that is that the one for for um, for August for Joe Dickard? Because what, what I want to do, friends, is, is I want everybody's donations today. If you're planning on making donations here. Uh, oh, okay, that's a different one, Dave. What, what I'm doing today, Davey, is I'm... Uh, you could donate to wherever you want. Dave's got the other... The other uh, uh, does anybody have the link up for August? You can donate to wherever you want to at any time. But, but today, what I want to do... Is I want to, anybody planning on putting a donation in at the Super Chat today or whatever, it's all going to Joe who lost his daughter in that hit and run accident. That's where everybody's, all, all my donations are going today that come here if anybody's planning on doing it. So, there it is there. Okay, Dylan, Dylan just put up the uh, the GoFundMe for, 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 um, for Joe. And if nobody's familiar with what happened there, this is just something that's been, this has been, this has not left me, okay? I, I, I can't even really concentrate over on get the gullet thing until I get this out of my hair. Um, this, this floored me. It, 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 it floored me. I was sitting at home there. I was actually doing some uploading and stuff. And boom, August Haneke puts up a video and explains that, that Joe dropped his daughter off if no one's familiar with what happened here i'm going to spit it out right now again joe drops his daughter off at the freaking bus stop in the morning goes to work climbs a tree and then all of a sudden the cops show up at the tree he's climbing they pull him out of the tree and they say joe we've got bad news your daughter's been struck by a hit and run driver and, and killed so a 13 year old daughter well my daughter's 14 years old and I drop her off at the bus stop every morning in the dark I sit with her in the car until the bus comes but friends that that just that that hit me it, it hit me it, it hurt me and and I, I like every morning Monday to Friday I take Rita right down the bus stop here in the pitch dark in the morning and I and I drop her off down there but we sit in the car until the bus comes Okay, so I can't even imagine what poor Joe's going through. So this is my plan. You, I, I don't even know how to do this stuff. I don't even have a link. Yeah, I'm real organized, but the link is up. So here's what I want to do. Anybody who's planning on doing a super chat, instead of giving me the super chat today or, or going to the, to, to the coffee and the biscuit, because whatever goes there today or whatever comes on on, on, on uh, super chat, we can do it one or two ways. You can go straight to the... To the um, to the link. If somebody could keep putting the link up, that would be great. Um, and just send it straight there. You know, I, I don't know what else to say. There's the link again, right there. So Dylan, uh, Dylan's put the link up. Uh, friends, I, I, I'm donating there personally. But before I was going to do that, I was going to see what what do you guys think we should do. Hi Emma, do you guys think we should do a a, a big lump? coming from the buck and army and the soldiers of kindness or do you want to just do it individually through uh through the through the uh the link there what do you guys want to do you tell me because i i'm just i i, I feel like I, I i want to do something for this guy so that maybe maybe he can sit back for a week or we can give him a few days or a week to figure out you know what he's going to do with some of this stuff it's an awful tragedy so uh I, I i want people to not do super chat if you're planning on doing a super chat please don't and 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 don't go to the uh 
I just, I want everything going to Joe today. That's what today's live feed is about. It's about Joe. I didn't know what else to do. I don't even know how to set up any of this stuff. This is the only thing I know to do is come on and talk to you people. It's the only way I know how to do it. So, friends, can we use this link? It would sure be nice. I, I, I'm going to. So, anyway... That just that, that's that's just unreal. I couldn't even believe that when I heard that. So I brought out I brought out my my power saw here, friends. Thanks, Dylan, for putting that up. Um, I wanted to do a little get the gullet thing, but I realized my phone. We could probably set it up maybe here like this, but you guys wouldn't see me for a minute. Yeah, that's actually not bad. That's actually not too bad, is it? They sure are, Brandon. They sure are, buddy. They're a great bunch of guys over there. And and August is a good mentor for those guys. And and that Joe, he's an expert climber. I just I I, I, I just I just don't know what to do. I, I just it it hit me. It hit me hard. And and I'm gonna donate to the link. So like I say, but before I was going to do that, I was going to talk to you guys and see if you guys wanted to do a big, like uh, a big buck and army donation and do it, do a thing here for an hour or a couple days on a separate. I don't know. I don't know. You guys come up with some ideas. I'm going to start doing the gullet here and I want you guys to have a look at the motion of what's going on here. Is this close enough? So friends, this is a brand new chain. Look at. Thanks, Snowman. Anything that comes here, anything that comes here on Super Chat is going straight to Joe. It's just going to get wrapped up in a ball and sent straight to Joe. So that's what's going on. If you don't want to use the link, you can send it here. Give YouTube a little nibble, but it's going straight to Joe. Everything is today. Here's what a new chain looks like, friends. There, there, there's a, basically a new chain right there. There's the hook in a new chain. I know it's terrible. Where's the camera on these things? You guys can see that. There it is right there. So there's the hook on a new chain. So why, why should... Why shouldn't it stay like that the whole way back? There's a good shot of it right there. Look at that. That's a brand new chain. So the gullet, the gullet, friends, is here. Is right there. That's the gullet right there. So this is a brand new chain. So this has got to go back. All this meat has got to go back, all the way back there, unless you're grinding. Okay? So So this is this is just some of the stuff that I've been playing around with for years and and I've been sharing on here and people seem to be getting a pretty good a, a pretty good uh, a feeling from it. <coughs> so this is pretty close for you guys, isn't it? Is this close enough? I'm almost thinking you guys should get straight on. This isn't really... Yeah, here, this is a little better. I do a couple strokes down get the gullet on a couple strokes then i straighten out this is difficult 
<laughs> this is difficult to do, friends. I got no special cameras or nothing here. I might... That's funny. I know what I'll do. So that one I just filed. It's right there. There it is, right there. So my, my point is on the gullet, I'd do better on the pickup truck straight on, wouldn't I? I think so. I'm gonna show you guys the stroke. Here's the stroke right on. This will give you an idea what this file looks like when I do this. This is better, friends, like this, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Much better. Okay. So this is what the file looks like. You, you can get this just like this. That's pretty much just straight. But if you want to grab the gullet, three, four strokes, depending. This is a pretty new chain. And then straighten out. I might take this chain to Indiana with me. I don't care how many strokes I'm doing, I'm getting it sharp. So I do a couple strokes, friends, down. Maybe, depending on how bad you got there. And then I straighten out. And I file it normally. Feeling me? Okay, you guys know, you guys know the get the gullet thing. I had an idea for a little video series. Did you, Thomas? And what's that? It changed it for you, hey, nail, hey, nail bender. It's a good program. It's a good program, but, but don't be afraid to try stuff. You know, don't be afraid to try different things. I got to sit down. How you doing, Emma? So, love the buck and filing techniques. Does wonders. Yeah, Kev, it's been, it's, it's handy. It's, I think, I wish I had a chain here and I might have one. I think I showed it there a while ago where, um, the gullet was not got. Uh, I don't think I have it here now. I'll see if I can find one. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, I have it. I wanna show you this right here. Look at this, friends. Here's a chain where the gullet has not been gotten. Look at it. See that black line? Look at it. There's a whole mountain of it there. That is not good. That is not good. You can see it there. You see it? So you're gonna have dust. I see a lot of dust flying around on, on YouTube. I see guys saying, hey, look at this, let's cut this tree down. And then you look at their cut and they got dust flying out of it. 
That's not good. Okay, once you get that little once you get that little lip on there, that that's a funny thing. You got to watch that nail bender. Once you get that little lift, you can get rid of that that little lip. Just shake it and see how bad it is. You can just knock it off, but what you can do is change the angle of your file and you can actually file it out. Just change the angle of your file a little bit and you'll watch it. You're going to have to play with that nail bender for a little bit. And and you should you should so it, what might be happening is you might be pulling up a bit. Do you know what I mean, nail bender? You you might actually be be scooping up a little bit to get that. Be careful with that. Change the angle of the file and keep going. I use a raker gauge, Michael. So whatever whatever they say the raker gauge is because I'm running big long bars, right? So I can't have this chattering going on. So I use a raker gauge and whatever it's set at, I think it's 25 or 30, 30, something like that. Does that make sense, nail bender? Joe, you, do you know what I mean? I, I remember it. I, I get them once in a while. Sometimes, you know, a, a fresh file sometimes helps with that, my friend. Believe it or not, a fresh file sometimes helps with that. And just change that angle and just maybe maybe flatten it out a bit, Joe. So you're going to have to just play with that. Find little ways to get rid of that, and then you'll have it beat, and it won't bug you anymore. Thanks, Dylan. Um, pick the range of saws you would need tune them ready for that month period and call it the month of McCullough's pick a range of saws you would need tune tune them oh yeah I see what you mean <laughs> yeah So, friends, I missed it last time I asked. Who's planning on going to the, because uh, we're, I want to meet a few of you folks out there. Did any, who, who's planning on coming to the airport on December 3rd? Or is it going to be a surprise? Is that what's going on? Are you guys going to jump me? <laughs> See ya, Greg. Yeah, it'd be good to see ya. Because Dougie, Dougie thinks he's going to have to hire somebody. <laughs> no, he's not. Because we're just going to be, we're just going to be like bolting straight out to his property, I'd reckon. How's the synthinator doing? You could fit inside a box there, Victor. Thanks, buddy. How you doing, Lorianne? Lorianne and Joe, how are you guys doing today? Joe, we've had the most reckless weather out here. I haven't been able to do nothing outside. It's just been brutal. Sideways blowing. You look outside and you think, oh, it's clearing up. Two minutes later, sideways rain. <laughs> it's been a little nuts. Yeah, I got you, Al. No problem, buddy. See you later, Greg. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, real bad. AJS, how are you, bud? It's 
Good to see you guys. I just run a I just run a 90 91 octane in my saws. Just I've been running the same same fuel mix in my saws for a long time. 20 20 years. Coming up 21 years. I I've, I've been running the same, you know, like a like a high not a high octane, but 91. And uh I've never I've never blown up a saw. Castrol. Yeah, I use Castrol which believe it or not still, you know, still uh the two stroke that's made by Castrol. If you look on the back, it'll say Castrol. Yeah, somewhere's in there, snowman. And I crank them. You bet, nailbender. <clears throat> you bet, buddy. Does Canadian fuel have mandatory alcohol in it? I don't know, buddy. Saw surgeon, I, I, I really don't know. I, all I know is I used to run Chevron fuel. And I used to run real high-grade fuel in my saws. And then it went, oh, hey, Brian. From Scotland, Brian Lister. Brian, thank you, Brian. That's going straight to Joe. Okay, Joe lost his daughter in a in a hit and run the other a couple of weeks back. I'm I'm doing a little thing for him where anybody that donates to the channel today, it's all going straight to Joe. So whatever we can do is great. You can send. There's a link. Um, uh, Dylan puts up a link there and it comes across. You can put it straight there too if you like. Makes more sense to put it straight to the link. I thought about that later actually. Is that right, eh? Huh? Interesting. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Is that uh, Guillermo? Guillermo. 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 Is that right? I butchered it, didn't I? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks. Good to see you here. Anyway, friends, I, I just that, that when I heard that. Oh, there's Victor. Victor would know. Have, have we got ethanol in our stuff? Landfill rat. What'd you say, buddy? Billy, you uh, you be flying in the terminal too, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll check it out. I think it is terminal two, actually. I think it is. You're right. But I'll double check. Hopefully I can sneak in and sneak out of there nice and quiet. I'll be deking anybody out that's trying to find me. Yeah. What's that one there now? Billy's package just went out the door. Let River know. Julie. Julie, thank you. <laughs> hey friends, last week, remember last week with all the families and the kids and the wives? What a trip! That was so fun, friends. Uh, what saw have you always wanted to own but never have? Jeez. Huh, if I if I ever wanted a saw, I usually went out and bought it. Um I I you know I thought about getting a 3120 one time, but then I heard some feedback on it and realized that my, my, my McCullough 125s are, uh, they're scary. <laughs> and my 30, my 394 is just a, it's scary beast. You know, the 31's a big saw. So I, I thought maybe I would get a 31, but I still haven't yet. I think if I was to get a 31, it would have to be hopped up. Seesaw rock the boat. That's right, Brian. Sorry, what, what was that? Um, can you give a shout out to Brandon Conrad's 10-year-old? Oh, sure, Paige. Yeah, hi, Paige. 
Are you watching right now, Paige? Are you watching with your dad there? Is, is that Brandon? Sorry, Brandon, if I've missed it, like you, you wouldn't believe how fast these comments go by. It's just like Zoom. How are you, Paige? Good to see you, darling. Thanks for watching. Hi, Paige. You keep an eye on that Brandon character. Is that your dad? You make sure he's uh, in good conversation with the people he needs to be. <laughs> and Santa Claus has been keeping a tight eye on you, Paige. <laughs> hey, Peter. I don't know. I don't know what he thinks. But he understands all about that stuff. He, he he but Bobby makes a much different chain than I do. Bobby makes a racing chain. So so the gullet, he don't even touch the gullet. He 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 only uses the first top of the top of the chain. That's a different he's he's into making uh fast cutting speed chains, you know, not wood cutting. Michael, Mr. Camfoos, good to see you. Am I going to ship this axe of yours, Camfoos, or what did you want to do? <laughs> Looks like our thumbs ups need a little bit of a, a piece of kindling underneath their rumple stilts because they're just, looks like they're kind of dragging a little there. What? Oh, that's a little better. It's got to catch up to 147, though, friends. What's happening here? Did you guys forget? Oh, there they are. They just woke up. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Thanks, guys. Good show. I'm bugging you, Michael. I know. You want to do that other one, don't you? And then we'll send them both back at the same time. That sounds good. Brandon, no problem, buddy. No problem. How old is Paige? Paige, how old are you, darling? Hey, August. Nice of you to pop in, bud. Yeah, August, these these live chats august i don't know if you're listening or not but they have this thing called super chat and people can donate to the channel i'm just going to ship it all over to joe today and people are hopefully shooting into the funds i hope so that's the that's the purpose of this thing here today i just i couldn't i couldn't believe it august i mean you're all just stunned over there i'm sure you know, so people, please use that link. It don't take much, you know, with a bunch of people. There's 143 people watching here. Hey, Gabby and Isabel. Where's where's Gabby and Isabel? I know your go girls are out there somewhere. Are you two are you two girls, Gabby and Isabel? Are you skeptical that you don't think this is live right now? Is that what I hey? Gabby and Isabel, we're live. <laughs> Good to see you girls. Thanks for watching. Somebody just threw in towards Joe's super chat today. I should have just called it Joe's Super Chat, what I should have called it. Who was that? David, David, thank you so much. Joe is going to, the man shouldn't be climbing a tree right now. He should be just relaxing and thinking about what he's got to do. That's just, a, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of solemn today, to be honest with you. I, I, when I heard that, when I, when I watched that video, August, Peter, thank you so much. Oh, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we need for him. Thank you all so much. Straight to Joe. What I'll do, friends, 
is at the end of it. You can use the link. There's the thanks, CT Moog. Thank you. What I'll do, if you guys just want to use Super Chat, that's fine. But if you want to use the link, that's great too. What I'll do at the end of it is I'll go to my Super Chat. I'll see what they what we created and I'll just go straight over to my PayPal and I'll pull it out of my PayPal and ship it over there. Victorious, you're an excellent young man. Well done, Victor. That's for Joe, Vic. You know that, eh? Thanks, Victor. So the the Hey August, are you still watching? Has Joe been working at all, August, or, or or not? Yeah. Yeah, probably keep his mind going. Oh, he hasn't been working. Okay, good. Well that's 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 good to hear. That's really good to hear. HC Racing, thank you, buddy. Joe Joe is so appreciative of this right now, you guys. August Hunnicky's on here too. Say hi to August, everybody. Give August a big hello. He's in here right now. Could you imagine what those guys are going through right now? That's just, if you've ever been around those situations, that's tough. That's tough. Right on. Well, listen, August, uh, August, would you do me a favor, please? And 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 just really give them a great big hug from my whole our whole channel over here, the Bucking Army, and all all the soldiers of kindness. Please, please give them our love, and you know, this is the least we can do right now for them. I, I wish we could do more. We're so far away. So I just wanted to get on here for a little bit of time and just see what we could. My my thoughts are August is if Joe. We could create something for Joe and and add an extra week or something into him just sitting, you know, having some time where he doesn't have to go to work. That's kind of what I want to do. I don't even care if it's for a couple days. Paige says, hi, August. <laughs> There's the Birchwood fella. Isn't that August a, a, quite a character, isn't he? Do you know what's really funny, friends? Brian, awesome man, August. Love to the family. Thanks, Brian. Uh, August, Brian just gave you a shout out. Um, and put $20 into the fund for, for Meadow and Joe and said hi, August. You probably see all this stuff anyways. I don't have to reiterate it. Berker, Beaker, is it Beaker? Wow, cool, buddy. Oh, August, I I can't even. I I don't. I was just saying, August. I take my daughter down to the bus stop every morning, into a dark, like pitch black in the morning. I take her down there and I sit with her in the car. Until the bus comes. I just, I can't believe it. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks. Berker, Beaker, thank you, buddy. Hello, thanks for popping into the chat with us today, bud. Yeah, so it was just, it was just my hope that you know, somehow, instead of me, you know, just sending what I can was to come on here and hopefully the, the army can help out a bit over there too. So that was the plan. I'm just, I'm just walking around here in a daze today, to be honest with you. Uh, it it wasn't it wasn't August actually it was one of August's buddies uh, lost his daughter in a hit and run accident it was just horrible so we're just trying to create a little bit of flow so the guy doesn't have to worry about going out and providing right now just so he can sit back for a little bit so thanks so much you guys 
I, I, I couldn't imagine that. I just, that's that's not something you'd want to think about. Hey, Bucken, you nearly caught me out with the mid this midweek live feed. Hi to all the soldiers of the kindness from here in the UK. Funky Handyman, thanks, buddy. Just so you know, Funky Handyman, whatever you donate today, uh, thank you so much, is going over to Joe. Joe and Meadow. It's a fund that's been created. Joe lost his daughter in a hit-and-run accident uh, a, a couple weeks back. It's just terrible. So I just wanted to come on and see if we could just help the guy out a little bit is all. You know, thanks, Dylan, for putting that. There's the link right there. Dylan's just put that up. Hi, John. Good to see you, John. You guys want to see my new chipper? There's my new chipper. That's called it's called a mercury chipper. Friends, I, I I'm going I'm going I, I'm going, does the chipper have a wooden handle? <laughs> it does. Actually, no. Friends, I got rid of all my equipment there about two, three years ago. And I gotta tell you something. Uh, my life is so simple now. It's so, so simple. I just, I just cut the tree down. Sometimes I clean up. Sometimes I call Victor in. And he uses his chipper, which was my old chipper. Cynthia, um, Cynthia, did I miss something you, you said there a minute ago? wonder if I should get out my stick. Is that, am I too close to you guys? Is that better out there? Nailbender, thanks for popping in. Nailbender, have you got an axe yet? That's right. That's right, buddy. <laughs> Coffee and biscuit donations. Oh, yes, Cynthia. Yeah, that's all going to Joe. Anything that goes to the coffee and biscuit, if people aren't comfortable with Super Chat, you can still use the coffee and biscuit at the main my main page of that pretty little picture of me with the cup of coffee and the hard hat. Anything that goes there is going straight to Joe as well. So actually, August, there's another little uh, piece that might come from, from there as well. I'll check that when I get in the house. It's just all going to Joe today. I don't, today is for Joe. And that's just how it is. It's been miserable. I just wanted to get out and stand in the weather here because it's been just reckless lately. Friends, I'm going to freaking Indiana. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you get your, Johnsburg, did you get your toque today, buddy? Oh, good. Yeah, that'll be cool, bud. Do it. I think I, yeah, right on. I'm glad you got it, buddy. Hey, friends, listen. Get, I, this, this is the part, and you probably saw my freaking video the other day. Uh, I think it's a straight shot. Dustin, I think it's a straight shot to Chicago. And then I'm getting picked up in Chicago. Chicago. Uh, um, it's called Mishawakaka. Is that right? Mishawakaka? Or Mishawakaka? I don't know. I always screw the name up. Mishawakaka. Yeah. See you, Marsh. Hey, Kaboomer, Kaboomer. New sub. Right on. Marcus, Marcus, thank you, buddy. Yeah, Gretch, not it's it's all it's all I can think to do. I I, I didn't know any. I didn't know what else to do. Thanks, Marcus. Could you imagine that, friends? 
Uh, Brandon, probably, probably six days. I would think about six days. Good evening, Hugh. Hugh, good to see you, Hugh. It will show up. No worries here. Okay, Nailbender. So, friends, you know the scenario on the merchandise thing, right? I've been I've been waiting to, to, to get the merch from Buddy. It's it's driving me a little nuts. He, he he's he's I I I'm a little bit I don't wanna say nothing because he's he is my friend. He's been having a rough go, but that doesn't help us, unfortunately. Thanks, Dylan, again for that. That link that Dylan put up is for Joe, everybody, just so you know. Um, he just texted me again today. And he said uh, the stuff, the hoodies will be ready on Friday. So if you, you ordered a hoodie, I, I could show you the text. He told me this morning. He said, sorry, sorry, the, 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 the stuff will be ready on Friday for you. He said that three weeks in a row. So this is the deal. If they don't come on Friday, listen, listen up, friends. This is important to me. If those hoodies don't come here and that merchandise doesn't come here, the toques and stuff, if it doesn't come Friday, Doug already told me. Doug's on a little bit of a mini holiday right now. Uh, I, I phoned him. I texted him the, the text that, that my buddy sent me saying that Friday. He says if they don't come Friday, he says I'll recreate the design and we'll, we'll, we'll get it sent out right, right away for you. So Doug is pulling us out of the bite on the merchandise things, friends. So I want to thank Doug. I do. I want to thank him. He's, he's, he's not on right now. But uh, he's going to pull us out of the bite on that one. We're going to come up with a whole bunch of new stuff. So, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to you, John. John Fisher, thanks for helping out on this, bud. I appreciate it. Uh, I know I have said this several times, but like you said, the chat is going quick. Uh, what would you want me meet dinner on me? Oh, <laughs> oh, Brandon, uh, wonderful, buddy. That that sounds awesome. I think as we get closer, buddy, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that thing that some people are gonna come to the um, the Chicago uh, airport and meet me there. Some people want to shake my hand and a few subscribers and that. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to do another meet and greet. I, I believe I have to talk to Doug about it yet. Uh, so I, I'm not sure. Um, I think we're going to do something right in Mishawaka, Waka, Chaka, Chaka, Cha. Mishawaka. Yeah, Mishawaka. I think. So, but I'm going to be doing the same thing I was doing like I was doing in Sweden. I'm going to have my laptop and we're going to be kind of vlogging and going live the whole thing. Justin Blanchard, thanks, buddy. That'll head straight over to Joe. Thanks. Justin, good man. Turkey time. Which one, John? Which truck? The Mercury with all the brush in it? John, that truck right there is a 1967 Mercury. This is a 1969 Ford one ton. I gotta put a carburetor in it. I might, I might put the carb in this truck today, actually. I gotta put a carb in that. It's a 390 truck. Runs like a top. And that's the 67. Hey Johnny. That's all I that's all I've ever had my whole life, them old trucks. 
How's your old 28 inch kick drum? Oh yeah, that thing's doing good. I was I was thinking about putting my axes up up there, doing my axes up. It gets cold. You guys remember me building axes? Hey Game Slugger, how are you, bud? Do you guys remember me when I first Hey, get this, friends. This is super cool. Get this. I want to tell you a little story. Listen to this. Do you know how happy I am to be standing outside here right now, friends? It has been sideways rain for days here. Days. No tree work, a little, I did a little bit, I kicked that one balsam over and filled the truck full. But hey, listen, there's a guy named the Tree Man and I met him, oh, it must be close to three years ago, no, a couple, three years ago anyways. And uh, it was really interesting. He asked about, oh, you know what it was? Yeah, this is what it was. It's all making sense now. Listen to this. I was, I was on, uh, Actually, I think I was on Wrangler Stars channel or something like that. This is years ago. And I saw this guy, Tree Man, and he asked, I think he asked Wrangler Star to build him an axe. And then the next comment was, no, sorry, too busy. Like, that was it. Just, no. Like, no. <laughs> and it was like, I just thought, I'd build you an axe. You'd never forget. I just kind of chimed in underneath. And I said, I'd. I was before, I think I was even before I had a channel. I said, I'd love to build you an axe, buddy. No charge, I'll give it to you. So I did. He, he got a hold of me and I actually built him this axe. It was way before we started doing buck and specials. So this axe was the very first axe that ever went out of my shop. And it went as a gratitude. I gave it to the tree man. I actually gave it to him. And then Johnny Marco got number one. But it just showed up at the door here. It just showed up at the door, friends. I'm gonna get it. He busted the handle off. I don't know, he hit it with a tree or something like that. It's right here. It's right here. So let's go have a look. I remember what it was. This is a beautiful head. I gave this ax to a guy. Let's put you guys here. Does this look like a familiar spot, friends? <laughs> Very familiar, eh? No. So, this is the very first axe that I've ever gave out of the shop. Yeah, and it's a dandy too. It's a beauty. Oh yeah. I wonder one. Wow. Oh, he's got her pinned. Jeez, it looks. There she be. It's pinned. Looks like that's where it busted too. Three and a half pounder. Ooh, smells good. Wow, that's been a long time since I seen that. Yeah, some people do, Brandon. Some people do do that. Yeah. Walking, my man, how are you? Pretty good, Aaron. How are you, buddy? Aaron, I think I sent something out in the mail for you. Yeah. I did. I think I did. But if I didn't, it's coming right away. So, the Aaron, how long you been on? I was talking about the merch guy there a couple seconds ago. Anyway, friends, uh, if you've just... If you've just pulled in, see you, John. Um, Ever Hammerson, good to see you, guy. Thanks for popping in. 
So, man, those, those comments, man, they come through like fast. <laughs> I'm setting aside three to five days in the spring. Oh, good. Sounds good. Friends, today wasn't meant to be meant to be a real long one. It's just something I when I heard that news about poor Joe there. You know, I mean with Joe and it's been a rough rough time for the community. I you know, with Joe and with Lacey and the whole gamut, you know, so those both those links are here to to, to work. You know, um, you guys Pick one and, and whatever your gut and whatever you feel you need to support or not. But uh, they're here for us to support. So I, I just, uh, when I was sitting there and, and he came on there and I was like, what's he doing? This looks, this doesn't look like August's normal, normal stuff. And, uh, and then I, I watched and I just listened to him and I was just, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. I just, yeah. Anyway. So everything that's come here today is going to go shipped right over to Joe. Joe and Meadow. So anyways, friends, uh, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick around long on here. I just wanted to bring some attention to that. I'm going to utilize this weather now that it's, I got some stuff I need to do outside and it's been raining steady. So now I can actually do it. I want to thank everybody for popping in. I want to thank everybody for helping out Joe. Those of you who's, who's used the Super Chat or the Coffee and a Biscuit, whichever you ended up doing, if you can use the links that are there for Lacey and John and Meadow, that would be wonderful. Hey, look at that. Just before I took off, 50 straight to Joe. Well done, buddy. Thank you so much. Joe is going to appreciate the snot out of that. Thank you so much. I'm glad I stuck around for a minute. Thank you, buddy. So anyway, friends, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pack her in here. I got some stuff I can do outside, so I want to thank everybody. Emmer Hammer, how do you pronounce that? He just came in and yeah, right there. Ever Hammer Anderson, <laughs> Hammer Anderson. I'm just gonna go Anderson. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Hit the thumbs up on the way out the door. Don't let the boot hit you in the can on the way out. Boot! Thanks, everybody. Yeah, that's terrible. Keep your thoughts with John's family and, and, and Joe. You know, friends, keep your thoughts in love with them, hey? John and the kids and, and, and Joe. Thanks, everybody. See you, Emma. See you, Landfill. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks to the mods. Loretta, thanks for coming on. John, thanks. Dickard, thanks you guys for moderating. Have a great night. See you, Carl.